Setting the pinning angle is a little tricky and I found a new way, or actually an app on my iPhone, which is really handy to find the angle of the engine through the drive line onto the drive shaft and then the pinion angle of the differential coming out. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for joining me. I was struggling a little bit trying to get my pinion angle on the 51 pickup set up correctly. And so uh, after doing a little bit of research, I found this app on uh, my smartphone. It's a Tremec toolbox or toolkit. and it's uh, pretty cool. It has, uh, it uses the smartphone's um, accelerometer basically to find level and take measurements using uh, your smartphone. So let me show you the three places that you have to take measurements of. So on the app, it tells you to take measurements at the front of the engine, or at least try to find this, the engine and transmission angle of the main shaft, basically. So one way you could do that is <clears throat> the, uh, the main pulley is perpendicular to that, that shaft. Um, and so what I did was using my smartphone. I'm using it right now, so I can't show you with it. What I did was, and I'll use this as an example, just stand up the, the smartphone edge and get this angle from top to bottom on the pulley. And let me show you, I had to use a straight edge. And this is uh, you know, pretty firm, so it's not going to flex. So what I did was set this up and then set the phone against it to read the angle. And I'll show you and I'll, I'll post the, the link to this app. Very cool. So then the second measurement and that's so that's this measurement. The second measurement is what the angle of the drive shaft is and using my new drive shaft I got we take a measurement front to back right hit the button and it records it and then the third measurement is back here at the uh, at the pumpkin at the front edge that plate that attaches drive shaft to the differential and what I had to do was, um, I placed this edge, this straight edge firmly against that plate in the back and then set the phone against it, hit the button and it record that value. So what it does is the app will take these angles and determine the angle of the U-joint. So for the first, so this is angle one, 
angle one subtracting angle, and sorry about this, angle two, which is the drive shaft. So you get the U-joint angle, or at least that travel of the U-joint. And so what this app is trying to achieve is three degrees or less of difference between these two angles that drive line and this drive shift. The second angle that it's trying to achieve is also um, at this, layer, this rear U-joint and it's taking angle three, which is taken at that plate, subtract uh, angle two, which is the drive shaft, and you get that U-joint travel. So in my case, I measured I didn't write these down, but I have, I'll, I'll show a screenshot uh, from the, the app. So what I found was um, this front angle is 2.1 degree and this rear was 1.6 degrees. So that the, t the app has a tolerance of three degrees or less. So if it, if after those three measurements are taken, um, if it satisfies those uh, angles of the U-joints, you get all green and you're all good. Um, with the exception of this drive line, um, it will squawk if that is exactly zero degrees of, of drive line. So in my case, it is a half a degree. So with these values, it was, uh, it's all green, and in theory, U-joints will be fine. Uh, there's less chance of vibrations or wobble. So um, the app kind of checks that. So here's a, an exaggerated angle of the rear differential, that pinion, drive shaft, and the engine. So, in all cases, the, dry, the pinion angle should be, should be increasing front to back, or back to front, should be lower in the back, higher in the front. Um, in this case of mine, I had a positive angle here of, uh, I think it was about a half degree. So, that was going up. And then also the engine from transmission should be lower than, than the front of the engine. So that's kind of the geometry that you're really trying to achieve. Um, in this case, I have leaf springs. So there's going to be some, a little bit of torque up when you accelerate. But because this is going to be a street car, we're not going to get that much torsion on the um, on a drive shaft, only really when you're accelerating, um, when, you know, accelerating hard. Um, so when I started this process, I had about four degrees of engine tilt, and that was just too much. So I ended up having to put on two more shins at the back edge. If you can see them, oh, let me see, I can't, the back edge of the transmission right here, right there. So I had, had to shim up the back edge and that brought the, that angle from, I think it was 4.2 degrees to, uh, well, I don't recall what it is. It, I'll show it on the, uh, the screenshot that I took of the app. Um, so anyway, I had, to, I had to make an adjustment there, and it is all looking pretty good. So the next thing I have to do is I've, I loosened up my U-bolts, and I've got to now tack weld this, this bracket. And uh, so I'll tack weld those in front and back, on both sides, and then I've got to drop 
I'll have to drop the, the rear end out of here, or at least raise it up so that I can get weld in on both sides of the, of the bracket so that will hold everything firmly at that angle. I think I have to turn up my welder. It did not, well, this side looks like it could be dirty. I gotta put some other spot welds. This side I think turned out fine. Um, at least for all the spot welds. The idea is just to get enough on there so it doesn't move. So I just wanted to give you a quick little, uh, show you this app that was very helpful and, um, you know, to set pinning angles. So that's about it for, uh, this little quick little video. And, uh, thanks for watching. Please hit the subscribe button if you, and hit the like button if you'd like, please. And we'll see you next time. Thanks.